इज गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो सो इट्स कैन यू गाइस सी द ब्यूटीफुल मून ओवर देयर सो इट्स 4:30 इन द मॉर्निंग एंड आई एम गेटिंग द फक आउट ऑफ दैट रूम एंड आई एम सो फ्रीकिंग टेंस राइट नाउ बिकॉज़ आई डोंट वांट टू टेल यू नाउ आई विल लेट मी जस्ट गेट आउट ऑफ द होटल एंड टेल यू freaking get the hell out of the property asap man let me check if there is somebody in my back seats Whew, let me lock the car as well and start it off oh man you guys have no clue how freaking scared i am right now Do you guys see that big shed over there? That's a whole ass convention hall, man. Let me freaking get out of this property. Madan Palle Street. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you are wondering where I am right now, I am currently in the hell is wrong with the Google Maps, bro. Why is it not freaking rerouting, man? Damn, bro, that's a close flyover. Why the hell there is freaking nobody on the road, bro? It's damn, it's bloody five in the morning, and oh, looks like main road is coming. So, anyways, guys, it's a, uh, it's almost, it's four thirty in the morning, and I am currently, I don't know where I am exactly, somewhere on the highway. As you guys know, I went to Chennai. I was in Chennai yesterday, and uh, at two o'clock. I started to Andhra from Chennai. So as per the route, I should be going to my home by Tirupati. So my plan was to reach Tirupati by five in the evening and go to Tirumala and experience those beautiful roads in this cruise. So as per the plan, I reached there. But since it's COVID time, the cops have stopped me. They were asking for uh, Dashram tickets. I didn't have Dashram tickets. I have RT PCR with me and I'm single vaccinated. Uh, so I had to take a U-turn over there, and one of our subscriber has spotted me. I'll put his picture over here. So he said he recently met with an accident. Uh, recover, will recover soon, bro. So as per the plan, everything was going, but then cops did not allow me. So I decided to head towards uh, Horse Hills, which is a hill station, which is in Andhra itself. It is. 150 something kilometers away from Tirupati so i decided to go over there but then it was night already it was 7 in the it was 8 in the night so i decided to book a hotel sleep for few hours and then continue uh, towards hasle hills i was on the way in ghats and then i opened oyo i pressed nearby and i i got one hotel man so i blindly booked that hotel and i went to that hotel and i ended up entering a conventional hall the hotel was in conventional hall they gave me a room there was no literally nobody in the hotel man only me and the manager as you guys can see i am in middle of nowhere literally in the forest so 11 o'clock everything shut down no light nothing only my room light was lit and there was literally nobody in the conventional hall there was nobody in my uh, hotel at all and at 11 o'clock all of a sudden i started to hear some weird noises man and what the hell bro i am freaking scared right now i am scared to tell the story also i see somebody coming behind me thank god man i'll just wait for that guy to come we'll go together <laughs> this is the first time i'm feeling like this that too in my own state andhra <laughs> but bro that hotel was damn freaking scary and before checking out 
all of a sudden one some lady came out of their room i thought okay some watchman came out of the room and then i asked her uh, can you please open the gate of the property and then she was like gate is open sir nobody will lock the gate okay so i went to the gate i went to gate and the gate was locked man and then i turned around she was literally not there bro extremely scary scenes happened if sajid was there in my place he would have freaking <laughs> <laughs> he would have freaking jumped out of the gate anyways anyways the google says i have to take right here oh man without this google survival is important without this google survival is impossible so i am currently heading towards madanapalle from madanapalle uh, horsley hills is 15 kilometers uh, or 20 kilometers away that's a complete ghat I had an option to book a hoyo in Madanapalle and stay for a night but then for some reason oh man beautiful coffee shop right here Ana tea ready ayinda tea ready ayinda What the fuck bro I hope I didn't step on a freaking glass bottle or something Anyways let me go have some tea and relax for a bit man You guys have no idea how freaking scared I am right now. I know I'm repeating this again and again because oh, yesterday night was a dream. Having been looking at your car after driving it for so long, it's a next level feel. It's a next level feel. Oh man, I just spoke to this guy and the thing he told me is even more scary now. got this average i'm getting 15 <laughs> so i am currently in narapalli or something what the hell man what's wrong with these people bro fuck off bro fuck off this high beam low beam fight keeps happening in andhra so i just spoke to that guy uh, he said the name of this place is narapalli and i spoke to him for a bit oh man that <laughs> guy was watching a freaking horror movie <laughs> early in the morning who the hell watches horror movie man i am already freaking scared i went to that guy like a victim and he was watching horror movie scaring the shit out of me <laughs> this is like a next level experience man so i spoke to him i asked him uh, i asked him about the hostel hills i asked him how's the way he was like uh, the way is good the ghat is going to start from now on so enjoy the ghat cops are over here man let me just get the hell out of this check post so bro this is literally the first time in my life i felt safe looking at the cop so coming back to the topic i spoke to that guy and he was like the ghat road is going to start now and as he said looks like we are currently in the ghat road so and i also spoke to him about the let me just turn on the heater bro and i also spoke to him about the hotel i stayed in uh, the hotel i stayed in is called i found that in oyo but i did not book i directly went to the hotel and i i directly went inside the hotel and then the hotel manager came up to me spoke to me and convinced me not to book through oyo but just directly take the hotel so i paid him some money i paid him x amount of money and i checked in so i spoke to that guy about the hotel i stayed in the tense so he was like sir are you talking about the conventional hall or the proper residency hotel so i obviously said it's a conventional hall there is no proper hotel over there and he was like sir uh, i think you have stayed in the wrong hotel there is another hotel called uh, residency which is 2 kilometers away from here i think you have stayed in the wrong hotel and i was like bro but it i literally booked that through oyo app what are you talking about i asked him something like that and he said Yeah bro I know you booked it through hotel but that's a abandoned hotel they closed it off 2 years ago only marriages were happening over there and that they that is also not happening because uh, whoever gets married over there are getting divorced or you know dying within one or two years so that is the reason whole town people together closed off that hotel he told some extra stories bro I can't even tell I don't even want to tell because I am somewhere in between the ghat and I am freaking pissing myself right now you guys you guys have no freaking idea i turned on the heater and shivering inside the car oh man i oh man i just wanna 
how come there is a manager over there there is a watchman over there they convince me to pay over there itself and i stayed there no etc i asked him like how did this all happen and he was like yeah sir there is a manager over there he is illegally running the hotel even he won't stay in the night only customers will stay uh, you are lucky i don't know how the hell you came out of the hotel he <laughs> he told this line you are lucky that you came out of the hotel what does that mean bro like literally and uh, and this is the first time i am exploring this part of andhra pradesh i have showed you tamil nadu i have showed you few parts of tamil nadu i have showed you few parts of karnataka and have seen few parts of kerala but i never showed you guys the proper andhra so i decided to explore a little bit even i haven't seen this part of andhra so before going to north i thought okay we will just finish andhra part and then start to north but then i did not expect this to happen man like every 1 minute i am checking the back seats of my car what the hell is happening over here bro there is a family but one thing i am not understanding is it's freaking 5:35 in the morning and where is the sunlight bro am i still dreaming am i in the hotel am i dead what the hell is happening i feel like something new today look at this bro the outside temperature is 16 degrees that is the reason even the heater that is the reason i started shivering again i turned off the heater like 2 minutes ago and i am feeling cold already oh damn bro people who are watching it from north like delhi part and all please don't laugh on my videos on my uh, temperature updates and my shivering updates because 16 degrees is like proper shivering uh, winter for, for us <laughs> and 10 degrees is literally like a snowfall and i totally forgot to tell you guys something so the whole trip is sponsored by uh, myself so <laughs> please do check me out on instagram as well and uh, buy my freaking plan guys buy my workout plans it was all fun and games until i start calculating about how much i am spending on youtube man i am spending in thousands like 50 60s 1 lakhs like i am spending so much i can't even tell how much i am spending as you guys already know i have spent 60k in my past kerala trip there is human nature when you are spending so much on something you obviously expect some returns right lower your beams bro fuck off fuck off I have spent so much and I am spending so much on YouTube and I am getting almost nothing. I am barely getting the amount of money which equals to one tank full or one and a half tank full. That's it. That's it. One tank full. That's it. Buy my freaking workout plans. It's just two k a month. Anybody can literally afford it. Any chicks will start following you. You will be healthy. You can jump around. You can walk around. You can, you can make chicks sit on your ass and then do push-ups. So. few of you guys have bought what the hell what the hell abs kit in what the just happened there is a huge lake on the right hand side of me which is overfilled and the water is coming on the road everything every single thing looks scary sounds scary damn guys i am surrounded by these beautiful mountains and i decided to stop over here for some tea because i feel like i'm missing out so many locations man as you guys can see there is a huge mountain over there man it's not about the destination it's about the journey so i decided to stop over here for a bit have some coffee wait for the light to come having tea looking at your car after driving it for so long is a next level feel man check out this beast oh man it's fogging up it's fogging up right in front of my eyes and it is beautiful i don't have words to explain how beautiful these roads are and how the hell i'm enjoying these corners such a brand new road man oh This 
am I in freaking Last of Us Part Two or something? Yes, I'm a gamer also. <laughs> am I literally in Last of Us game? Man, I did not expect Andhra to be this beautiful. I should have explored this path of Andhra before itself. Cactus trees over there. Every time I see a cactus tree, a YouTube video comes in my mind, man. <laughs> One fat guy, a fat half guy, 150 kg he will be at least. There will be a bunch of cactus plants in a desert. He will simply go remove his t-shirt and jump on them, man. That <laughs> such a creepy video. I mean, like people do anything for views. <laughs> But I think that guy won Guinness record or something for that. And look at this beauty over here. Oh, military training is going on. In these cold weathers. Training in these cold weathers. Man, those guys. Those guys will literally live for 100 plus years. <laughs> oh man, I miss a SUV now. Because <laughs> if I had a SUV, I could go top of that but that's okay man sedans for life you gotta sacrifice something to get something I don't know how it's gonna be when I'm going there for the first time uh, I'm hoping to see some uh, thick fog and thick clouds just like Nandi Hills in Bangalore uh, people say that this is like the mini version of Nandi Hills so let's go and see what's up that's a beautiful HP station over there. Finally, a Bharat fuel station. For some reason the car is not starting at all man. <laughs> 